Hi there, welcome to QA Box and this new series about mastering XPath for UI automation testing. All right, so in this video, we are going to do three things. Number one, we are going to use XPath in JavaScript within the web browser to identify control. Number two, we are going to use XPath text function. Number three, we are going to see the difference between using text function and the dot expression so I'm going to print this value onto the console so let me open the console first I'm on Chrome browser so I have to first identify this control let us inspect this and you could see that this is not fixed and this is also not fixed I can go with this value 1 okay so ID 1 so how can I do that? We saw that in the last video, right? So we're going to say, but the first thing is we have to identify the function. So which function I'm going to use? So I'm going to use document.evaluate. Now it expects few parameters. Number one is the XPath expression, right? So that's what you are going to use. Second one is context node. In case of web page, it's always document, though you can say document.head. And you can say document dot body right resolver is nothing because there's no namespaces into HTML page then the type is result type so what type of result you you want to return so I'll say any result any result of any type sorry and then uh, in result we are going to pass null so let us write our expression so we're going to say this and it was what a div tag and then we had contains okay and we are going to say at id comma and the value was one right and now you could see there's a problem right so this string starts here and it's zoom it's ended there so in javascript what we are going to use we are we can also use double quotes and it is going to work now so this is my first parameter second is context is i can say document or i can also say document dot body because this element is there in the body next is resolver is null like i said and then we are going to say xpath result yeah and then the type has to be any type okay and then the next thing is null so i'm going to store that into a variable let's say i'll say div1 is equal to this the next thing that I have to do is because this gives me the object of iterator. So I have to say uh, let div is equal to div1 dot iterate next. Okay. Now if I check this div, so you could see that I have got access to this element. Okay. And to identify the text of it, we have to say text content. And now you could see that this is being printed here all right so this is how you can use xpath with javascript within the web page to do the job okay next thing that we have to do is we have to use text and dot okay so again text text function is used to create expression when we have a text defined in an HTML tag and we wish to identify element via text that's very important right so we are not working on attributes now we are working on text node okay so common use case when other attribute values changes dynamically and there is no consistency there is no pattern and therefore you can't you know uh, go for IDs and you know you, you can't build any logic around it because there is no pattern then text is the only solution okay uh, when to avoid it when text changes dynamically like I mentioned in the last video and you know that's that's uh, that's not a limitation it's it's a mistake on my end so kindly ignore this now uh, let us write a function so we are going to work on this control so let me show you what this control is and we have again a field set and inside that we have this button all right then we have this div and inside that we have got one more div all right so we uh, are going to cover both uh, dot and text function so let us uh, first cover the text thing so as you could see in here though i can identify this button 
using this class dot red but I would like to do it using this text I'm not saying that's how you had to do it all right so if there's an attribute through which you can uniquely identify the control go for the attribute because if the text is dynamic and tomorrow it changes then your X path will not work all right so but for this demo purpose I can go for this or let me go for this one all right so I'm going to say I'm going to uh, say div okay and then I'm going to use contains okay and for contains I'm going to use inside that first argument is text and I'm going to pass the text is this that I am the one so let us find this out so this is the div so I'm expecting the contains and it has got this text function and okay so you got to use this okay because we have to escape this exclamation this one all right so between i and m so let let us make it div one okay so though we were able to find that but just to keep it simple i don't want to type too much here all right so i can uniquely identify this control okay great now let us talk uh, about dot as well so dot in xpath is called the context item expression we talked about it means this node right so context node because it refers to the context item this could match to a node right such as element node attribute node or text node and it can also match to the atomic values such as string numbers and boolean right now we, we are going to understand this with the help of example so while text refer to match only element text which is in string form and the dot notation is the current node in the dom this is going to be an object of type node while using the xpath function text to get the text for an element only gets a text up to the first inner element okay in the text you are looking for is after the inner element you must use the current node to search for the string and not the xpath text function let's see that so we are able to identify this here all right great let me use the dot in here all right same result all right it works let us now go for this one now and we are going to say div2 okay so we can identify this div uh, if I go for text great no difference yet now let me find this but after okay but after right see I can't find that okay and if I want to find that because it is wrapped inside this emphasis right if I want to identify this still I got to use dot and the second one is because I have used this text in here and I mentioned that dot has the potential to identify within an element attribute and text node and it can also identify the atomic values so this is the atomic values and this is the element inside which it is finding it all right so that's difference number one difference number two is what if i want to identify this right can i identify this using so i'm going to say dot wood okay so now you could see that this dot wood right uh, i can find that using dot okay but if i change it to text function right you could see that i cannot find it and that's what has been explained in here okay right so xpath function text to get the text for the element only gets up gets the text up to the first inner element right so in this case any text in this can be found using the text but you can't find text within the elements right and after the elements if the text you are looking for is after the inner element right so this is our inner element so you the text function cannot identify the text uh, between this it can only identify the text between this and this provided there are 
no other internal element so in this particular case we saw that both text and dot gave us the same result but in this particular case text can only identify this div node using this text only if we have to identify this div node using this which is basically wrapped inside another html tag or this text which is after this right so you have to go for dot so that's the difference between dot and text function thank you so much